वेलकम टू दिस चैनल माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर टी एन देवनाथ मैं डॉक्टर मॉडर्न मेडिकल साइंस मोटिवेशनल स्पीकर एंड लाइफ कोच अगर आप नर्सिंग स्टूडेंट हो या फिर साइकोलॉजी के स्टूडेंट हो तो डेफिनेटली यू नीड टू स्टडी सिग्मा एंड फ्रॉड नाउ इफ यू नीड टू स्टडी सिग्मा एंड फ्रॉड देन मे बी शॉर्ट नोट ऑन टोपोग्राफी ऑफ माइंड सो इन दिस वीडियो आई विल टॉक अबाउट द टोपोग्राफी ऑफ द माइंड इट इज़ अ वेरी शॉर्ट नोट शॉर्ट नोट फॉर द फाइव मार्क्स और टेन मार्क्स यू कैन राइट डोट नाउ टोपोग्राफी ऑफ माइंड इज गिवेन बाई सिग्मा एंड फ्रॉड is given by sigma and fraud okay sigma and fraud is given this topography of mind and remember see he divided into mind into three region three different region and remember these are the conscious mind this is the preconscious mind and unconscious mind usually the preconscious system is also called subconscious also called subconscious mind or subconscious system okay now there are three important mind is the conscious pre conscious and unconscious now we'll see this call iceberg phenomenon this call iceberg phenomenon this call iceberg phenomenon if you see or if you look at this picture you can see the conscious level of the conscious mind level of the conscious mind is thought and perception everything but it is very small okay now if you look at the con unconscious level if you look at the unconscious level in unconscious level we have so much things to do and in between these two conscious level and unconscious level there is called pre conscious level or subconscious level now if you look at the unconscious mind actually the content of the unconscious mind is become conscious by pressing through the passing through the preconscious mind now preconscious mind actually acts as a sensor the primary process of thinking contains the absence of negativism presence of conditional conditions and a coexistence of contradiction lack of time sense and everything okay now unconscious contains the wishes or the drives which are actually difficult to make fulfill so they if the wishes or drives we are unable to express and when it will be expressed then there will be development of the neurotic symptoms or we can express this through the dreams now what are this unconscious process or what are this um, content of this unconscious level these are the actually unacceptable sexual desire now if you have unacceptable sexual desire and if it can pass through this pre conscious level and come to the conscious level then you might have some bad dreams what we call as nightfall because these are the unacceptable sexual desire which stored in the unconscious level when you go into sleep there will be this filtering action of this pre conscious level gets weak and the thoughts from this unconscious mind pass through the pre conscious level come to the conscious level in the form of dreams or either in the forms of any neurotic disease like conversion disorder right and irrational wishes shameful experiences selfish need immoral urges violent motives and fears these all are unacceptable okay that's why they remain in the unconscious level now the preconscious mind or subconscious mind what we say is the preconscious mind or subconscious mind include things that might not presently we are aware of but we if we focus on that thing we can make that image or that consciousness uh, we can ever what we need like if you ask who was your first grade class teacher okay now if you are not remembering that but if you if you want or if you focus on that particular topic you can remember rather and also you can visualize your face of your teacher so this is pre conscious or subconscious mind where the information is there but it is not on your conscious level but if you try you can make them be conscious with with much less awareness okay or much less effort so these are the functions of pre conscious mind or 
subconscious mind. It interferes conscious and unconscious as I have already told and it maintains the representative barrier, the, the thoughts or the emotions which are in the unconscious mind, it cannot go into the conscious mind because th th that barrier is done by this preconscious mind. And it's only get disturbed when or the power of the preconscious mind get diluted when you are in sleep. And that's where dreams occur. And with the dreams, you try to fulfill your undesired behaviors and, uh, and, and shameful works or whatever it is. It is there in the unconscious mind. It comes into the conscious mind through the preconscious. Now, what is the conscious mind? In the conscious mind is all about this conscious mind no is everything in our awareness conscious means we are aware ever that all the fantasy feelings memories perceptions self awareness these are the conscious mind so this is all about this topography of the mind that is our mind has three important one is conscious one is conscious second is preconscious and third is unconscious the preconscious system is also called subconscious level where some information is there if you want you can bring back into the conscious level without much uh, effort right and if it is unconscious mind it can come into the conscious level when the preconscious levels become weak like dream or any other conditions okay and it give you the all uh, undesired wish to be fulfilled or else if you uh, express this unconscious uh, thoughts to the conscious mind it will express as a as a neurotic disorder as a neurotic disease or neurotic disorder there are two important disorders one is psychotic one is neurotic neurotic means conversion disorder where the reality contact is there so uh, this is all about this topography of the mind thank you